Hey, this is Steve with Rayblock Auto Body Parts. I want to give an overview of the different pieces of a car and where some of the aftermarket parts fit on it. Um, we think it's pretty straightforward because we deal with it on a daily basis, but we get a lot of questions, so we thought we would do uh, a video of a car, a truck, maybe an SUV, so you can see exactly where the parts fit. Now, I don't have all the parts with me, but I'm going to explain where they go, um, and that way you'll get an idea of how things fit on a vehicle, at least with the aftermarket parts. Now, keep in mind that every vehicle is a little bit different. Um, every part is going to be a little bit different in shape, but the general area of the vehicle is going to be the same no matter what the vehicle is. So we're going to start off with something really basic, left versus right, driver versus passenger side. This confuses a lot of people. In the States, we think of driver side as being on this side on the left, but in Europe and in other countries, it's on the right. So we have our parts listed as driver and passenger side as well as left and right. So when it's driver and passenger, that's talking about in the States, if you're on the driver or the passenger side. But the easiest way to do it is left and right, which is the way most shops will do it when they're talking about your vehicle. So if you are sitting in the car, your left hand is the left side of the vehicle, your right hand is the right side of the vehicle. It's not as you're facing it, it's as you're sitting in the car. So it's always the left and the right, just as if you were sitting in the car. Every vehicle is the same. So some of the basic components of the car, the fender, it's going to be a piece that bolts on. It's going to go from this gap all the way to the front. That's going to be the same for most vehicles, whether it's a truck or a car or an SUV. Um, there aren't a lot of repair panels for the fenders because the fender is a pretty easy uh, part if you're working on a vehicle to replace. You just unbolt it, take it off, you can bolt a new one on. Yes, there's a lot of other work involved, but you don't have to do any welding. It's just a bolt-on piece. You have your hood, um, your cowl section up here. So if they're talking about the cowl of a vehicle, that's typically this section up in the front. Same thing on a truck or an SUV. A lot of times you're going to have a vent or vents up there to let the heat out from the engine compartment. Uh, you might have windshield washer or windshield wipers or the washer uh, sprayers attached to it. Um, up in the front, you have your bumper, your lower balance area, and anything in the front. The tricky part tends to be from the doors back. Obviously, the door is the door, um, but what you're going to see on a lot of aftermarket sites when you're buying parts, you might get a door shell. So if it says a door shell, that literally means all of the metal part. None of the window, none of the glass, none of the weather stripping, none of the interior um, you know, window cranks, any of that. It literally is the shell of the door. So you get the whole metal part of the door that goes on with it. Um, sometimes you'll get a door skin. The door skin is literally just this outer section of the door. So it's this piece of metal, the skin that goes on top of the door shell. Now a door shell is going to come with that, but maybe your door is fine except you have a big dent in the outer skin. Sometimes you can get the skin to just replace it. Um, and we have videos to talk about how to do that. Or you might just get a lower door bottom. So you have a lower door skin, which sometimes will go from like a body line here, here, down. You know, it might cover a couple inches. Or you might have a door bottom. If you open the door up, the underside of the door itself, the actual door frame, the door shell, is the door bottom. So if you're buying a door bottom, you're getting the inside piece of the lower section of the door. The real tricky part tends to be rocker panels. So the rocker panel is the very bottom piece that's under the door. On most vehicles, on the aftermarket side, the rocker panel is going to cover the door area or just beyond it. A lot of times it'll go up in underneath the front fender, and it might come back into this section as well. Um, same with on the trucks. Um, or you might get one that's a little bit longer, but typically it's going to cover the door area itself. So you get the rocker that comes underneath. Sometimes you'll have a bit of the pillar in the front and the back that curves up a little bit, but that's the section we're talking about when we're talking about a rocker panel. It's the metal piece that's structural to the vehicle that's underneath the door itself. The other area that gets a lot of questions and a lot of confusion is the quarter panel. So this back section, from the door all the way back to the taillights, is the quarter panel. So sometimes it'll be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on the vehicle, but the quarter, when talking about the quarter panel, that's this. Now, we sell a lot of wheel arches, and a lot of places sell wheel arches. The wheel arch is not the quarter panel. The wheel arch is literally the arch area around the wheel. Again, depending on the vehicle, you might get three, four, five inches above it, but you're getting this whole lip all the way around here, and a section around it so that you can replace the wheel opening, like the wheel well itself, or the wheel arch itself. Underneath, inside, is the wheel house. So if you're getting a wheelhouse, that's the metal part that's up underneath in where the tire is, and that's what replaces the inside of it. This front section is called the lower front section of the, the quarter panel. So even though it's a, a quarter panel, this is the lower front section of the quarter panel. So if you're getting a lower front, that doesn't mean the lower front 
fender, it means the lower front piece of the quarter panel. And then this section back here is the lower rear quarter panel. So you might get a piece that covers just this area because that's a very common area where things rust. A lot of debris, salt, and everything builds up underneath it and it rusts out. So that's the lower rear quarter panel there. Obviously you have the roof, um, you have your deck lid, some people call it a trunk lid, your deck lid, and then the rear bumper and the rear portions of the vehicle. But that is really the extent of the aftermarket pieces and what you're looking at. Fender, door, rocker, quarter, wheel arch, lower front quarter, lower rear quarter. So that covers it. If you guys have any questions, definitely comment or call us or uh, uh, send us a message. We'd be happy to help. Again, we're going to do another one with the truck and with the SUV so you can see everything. This is the one that covers the car, though. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We appreciate it. And uh, thanks again.